Hey, what's up, everyone? She'll be here with another political video, and today we will be talking about how Biden has gone to Ukraine and also Poland, but mostly we'll be focusing on Ukraine and how this is pretty crazy, and I think it deserves round of applause. So, first things first, you know, it took months of planning days of secrecy to get to him being there in Kiev. So, you know, Saturday night he's out, you know, having Valentine's week, uh, week date night. 36 hours later he's in a, you know, a, a cathedral in Kiev with, with, you know, Zelensky. So it's pretty dichotomous, right? He just went from one place to another. Nobody really knew it, right? It was only Biden and, you know, his most senior aides. It took months of planning. Uh, obviously, he did tell Moscow. He, they went over and told Moscow and said, hey, we're going there. So, you know, Biden just get, like, nuked or something. Not nuked. Actually nuked. But, like, hit with a bomb or anything, right? Or shot or anything. So, which is really good because we don't want that happening because that's not good for world safety reasons, okay? Um, also, I don't like, I don't want presidents to get, like, assassinated or anything. That's not what we want here. That's not a good situation at all. So, um, yeah, it's one year later, Kiev stands by nuclear Monday, and Ukraine stands, democracy stands, right? So he, his big thing here is saying, so much larger than just Ukraine, it's about the freedom of democracy in Europe. It's about freedom and democracy at large. Obviously, he's wearing his, let me go to the image of it. Oh, God. I just said it before to reload the tab. His blue and uh, not green, blue and yellow tie, right? Obviously symbolic of the Ukrainian colors. Um, yeah, and while they did tell Moscow to, for deconfliction reasons, to being like, "Hey, please don't, hit, please don't hit our president," uh, Washington did not know until it actually happened. Right? Uh, it's just pretty crazy. Yes, if you notice, I've been given to reports on Sunday that Biden was no longer Washington. The official White House schedule released Sunday evening. Still, this is to portrait for Poland at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday. So, very, very no hush hush. Nobody really knew. His top national security spokesman denied there was a possibility the president would visit Ukraine in an interview that aired Sunday morning. So, again, pretty hush hush. Nobody's known. I wonder if even the. I'm assuming that they, they had to have known, but. You know, they're, they're not they're not mentioning stuff. So, a 10-hour train ride to Ukraine. Obviously, you know, they have to stop and go from place to place. Um, this whole, the rest of this kind of just talks about, you know, fluff, about what's happening, right? But, but things he did there and things like that. But I still just wanted to make this video because I'm like, you know what? You know, like Biden or not, I know a lot of people don't like him. A lot of people do like him. A lot of people are indifferent. Um, whatever your stance on this is, I think everyone can, you know, give a round of applause to him literally going to an active war zone, basically. Right? Obviously, Moscow wasn't told that he was coming, so there's probably be less miscommunication in that aspect. But, you know, the still the chain of command breaks down after you get pretty far down. Uh, you know, even though Kiev's not, like, always an active war zone, right? It has been in the past, and, you know, things would always go bad. So, you know, you gotta... You know, let let Moscow know so that nothing bad happens. But I think it is a pretty, um, pretty cool thing he did. I think it's pretty. Um, I want to say badass. I, I think that going to an active war zone, even though you know you're probably not going to be hurt, like ninety nine point nine 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 percent, right? He's not going to be. It still was pretty cool. He went. I think it really shows solidarity with the, from the United States with Ukraine, and I think it's really really good to show to the world that the U.S., the most powerful country on this planet, is not giving. You know, not giving up, not quitting on Ukraine. So, just making your thoughts on this. What do you guys think? Do you think it's a good thing, bad thing? Do you think it's a cool thing? Do you think it's a lame thing? Let me know down below. And yeah, thank you so much. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you next video. Bye, everybody. Peace, peace.